today has not been off to a great start. In today's video, we're going to be changing that. And I'm going to be showing you guys what I do when I have a not so great start to the day. And how I try and make it a better one. So, first off. We're going to stop being upset. It's kind of hard. We're going to focus on other things than the thing that is ruin our, ruining our day. So, first I'm going to I'm going to get dressed. I got an outfit that is cute. And we are going to go brush our teeth and take care of ourselves. So, let's go do that. Okay, this is the outfit I am going to put on. Super cute. Um, this is for, both of these are from American Eagle and this is from H&M. So let's go ahead and put it on. Got a cute outfit on. Now I'm going to brush my hair and brush my teeth, put some moisturizer on and do my makeup. Cause then that try and help us stop crying, you know? So yeah, let's do that. now I need to go wet this real quick now obviously if you don't want to do your makeup you don't have to doing my makeup personally just makes me feel better it's something I enjoy to do so if you don't enjoy doing makeup then you can just do something else that you enjoy doing um, but yeah Whenever you're having a bad day, don't let that determine your worth or think, make it ruin your self-esteem, if that makes sense. I don't know. I often find myself when I'm having a bad day because of like a certain situation or anything like that, I find myself telling myself I don't deserve to do something or just something like that. I'm sure some of you can late maybe for some people it's eating you don't deserve to eat maybe for some people it's you don't deserve to do things you love you don't deserve to take care of yourself um and that is not true at all you deserve everything and more um just because you're having a bad day or someone said something to you or something like that that does not determine your worth or what you deserve and I just want you guys to remember that it's just a bad day tomorrow is a brand new day and my cat is being annoying right now but I just want this video to be very raw and real and hopefully maybe it helps one of you who are struggling today to take care of yourself or you're just mentally having a tough time just know I'm always here for you, my Instagram, I'll put it up on the screen, you can DM me, talk to me if you need to, always here for you guys if you need someone to talk to, but yeah, I just want to, to let you guys know that you are deserving of everything you desire and everything you want, and don't let a bad day ruin that or decide that for you, because it's just 24 hours. Tomorrow is a completely new day, and you can turn today around if that is what you 
want to do. Of course, you don't have to do any of this. You can just lay in bed and let the day pass and there will be a new one tomorrow. Or if you want to make today a better day, then you can do things that you enjoy doing. And yeah, so I'm going to keep doing my makeup because it makes me feel better. <laughs> Okay, my makeup is done. Now, another thing I want to remind you guys, that day is 24 hours. This is not going to be your situation forever. This is just a small fraction of your life. Um, so don't let it determine some choices that you might make. And just know that these feelings, the situation that you're in is temporary. It's not forever. Don't let that make you make permanent decisions um next thing we're going to do is make my bed because that always helps me just feel a little bit more put together also i'm so sorry if you see all the dandruff in my hair right now i don't know what to do about it um but it's winter and so i can't really help it my scalp is dry Okay, now I have schoolwork to do today, um, and I'm getting kind of a late start to that, but I am going to do what I can and try and get some of it done, but you don't have to do anything. Personally, for me, when I am having a bad day, it helps to focus on something other than why I'm having a bad day, so we're gonna kind of get lost in some schoolwork. <laughs> and try and make today a better day and later at night we will dive deeper into our feelings but for now we're gonna focus on this because that's what we deserve to do and while we're at it we're gonna play some happy music not sad music because that is just going to make us sad we're going to play happy music because we want to raise our energy into positive energy and not negative low energy if you know what I'm saying so I'm just gonna play my happy playlist It's like 10.30 and I have not eaten yet and our bodies deserve to eat. We deserve to eat. So I'm going to make, I think I'll probably eat some fruit or I might go easy and just do like cereal or something. So yeah, I don't know what I'll do. My phone's about to die though, so I'm probably going to leave you guys down here and yeah. I'm not in school. That stuff that we did earlier today helped a lot and I'm feeling a little bit better but I'm gonna keep showing you guys what I do when I'm in a bad mood and what I do to kind of help it um, or if I'm like having a bad day. Another thing that I do is I like to watch TV. Currently I'm watching Gilmore Girls but my 
ultimate comfort show is Gossip Girl. I'm gonna watch some of this and cuddle with my cat for probably the next like hour or so. Okay, another thing that helps me is FaceTiming my best friends. So I just FaceTimed my cousin. She just started a new school, so I listened to her. And she told me how that went. And so now it's around 5.30 and I'm gonna start editing tomorrow's video. Um, so yeah, I'm feeling a lot better than I did this morning which is good. All of these things that I've done throughout the day have definitely helped me out a little bit. And so yeah. I don't usually cry at all. But wow is it always close ranging from a movie scene to main of people in my dreams. The last time if I I'm currently listening to the Moments podcast by Lexi Hidalgo, and I'm listening to her most recent episode. And while I do that, I am going to journal, and I will show you guys my favorite like journal prompt slash setup that I like to do that really helps clear my head and yeah, kind of reset my mindset and. So let's do that. It's the shade of blue. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Just take it slow. I'll wait to find love. Better hear the call again. For now, I will feel the ocean view. And I pray that it won't be over soon. Oh. To keep it all together ever since we left I guess it just makes sense to what the reasoning was when I said In case I go, no need to be stressed Gotta take it, won't I really miss the shame Thank you.